Hi students, in this video, we will check the integral function of convergent or divergent. If the integral value is finite constant, then the integral function is convergent. Suppose the answer is infinity, then the integral function is divergent. If we have a function, we will check 1 divided by root of x. First, we will check the function of this function. We will check the continuous interval. If you check the continuous and discontinuous, it is very easy. If you check the function in the limit, you can check the value of the function. If the value of the function is infinite, the value of the function is infinite. The value of the function is discontinuous. If we substitute the lower limit of 0, the x will substitute the value of 1 divided by 0. That is infinity. So, given function is discontinuous at the point x equal to 0. So, we will rearrange the integral first. That is, we will rearrange the integral first. Integral 0 to 3, 1 divided by root of x dx. And the root of x, we will rearrange the integral x power 1 by 2. And the denominator x power 1 by 2 is the numerator. We will rearrange the integral of x power minus 1 by 2. Because in the denominator, the function is the function in the numerator, the power plus or minus or minus or plus. Now, we have a limit. The lower limit is 0. But the zero is the point that is discontinuous. So, we have t to the point. And the upper limit is 3. The integral 0 to 3 is the meaning of x value 0 to 3. But here, we have 0 to include. Why? If we have 0 to the point in the function, the function is discontinuous. So, if we have 0 to the point, then we have 0 to the point. So, we have 0 plus. So, what do we have to do? Limit t tends to 0 plus. That is equal to limit t tends to 0 plus. And this is the formula of integral of x power n. And integral of x power n is the formula x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. This is the formula of minus 1 by 2. So, we have x power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Limit t to 3. First thing is upper limit apply. That is equal to limit t tends to 0 plus 1. First, we substitute x in the x. So, we have 3 power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is plus 1 by 2. Divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is plus 1 by 2. Then minus. Now, we apply lower limit. So, the lower limit is t. So, x in the 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 x. Now, we apply limit. That is, limit t tends to 0 plus. That is, t in the x 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 t की बदला zero substitute पन्दर पन द second term full ला zero हो मारी रहा, so नमक का answer ऐना वारा ना three power one by two divided by one by two नी वारा, इन द denominator ला इरक कुड़ी इन द one by two इधर वाला इन द two वंदे टे numerator भी गोयरो, so two into three power one by two वारो, three power one by two ना root three, so इधर वंदे टे ओर finite constant, so कुड़ी तरकरा integral function वंदे टे convergent